Hello, my name is Debbie. Um, I've always wanted to learn to play the fiddle, and in fact, I started to take lessons while I was in middle school in the 60s. At that time, it, there was no individuality. You did what they wanted or not. Or not. They were unwilling to teach me what I wanted. Um, the teacher was frustrated, I was frustrated, asked me to turn in my fiddle, and so I did. I never forgot about it. I always wanted to do it again. And so about 30 years later, I picked up the fiddle again, found a private um, instructor in the, in the uh, area and, and started playing again. Um, and she was teaching me more of the things that I wanted to learn, but um, the emphasis was on covering material, just covering a lot of material, not really learning theory or anything that I felt I had a need for. And life got in the way again. I went to nursing school. I didn't have time for lessons anymore. Fast forward 10 years from there, and I became acquainted with Jacob's Fairy Stragglers, which is the band Ray plays in. Um, I met him. We became acquainted over the years, and I decided at some point um, after retirement I would start lessons again. Then the pandemic hit. Ray had available slots. I had extra money as a nurse, and so I started again. It was the best decision I ever made. Ray individualizes everything. He thinks about his students. He thinks about what you want. He's willing to um, uh, explore avenues. If I bring a piece of music, we'll work on that. Um, and he teaches not just the music. I had the nuts and bolts. I knew how to bow and read music a bit but he teaches you to feel it. He teaches you why you're doing th things. He teaches you the basics that you're going to build on. It tells you why you need this basic to get to a different level. Um, I've, I've never met um, a young man as dedicated to the art as he is. And um, I think that you get what you pay for and he's worth every cent that I spend in lessons. It's been almost two years now. I've made tremendous progress. I have a long way to go, but he's patient and kind and encouraging, and that's all you can ask for in a teacher. Um, please, if you have any interest at all in, in learning a, uh, an instrument, make commitment. Tell yourself you're going to stick with it at least a year so that you get a real feel for it, and buy yourself a half-decent instrument so that whatever sounds you make sound pretty sound well enough that you're going to continue. I love you, Ray. I wish you well, and I hope you get lots of students.